What's going on, boxing family? It's your boy, Martin Moreno, a.k.a. The Boxing Purist. Welcome to the Truth and Absolute Boxing Channel, where we speak the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me, Lord Almighty. Now, let's get into this, y'all. I just read an article that my man, my all-time favorite fighter, I won't be biased when it comes to him fighting or nothing, but my all-time favorite fighter, personally, is my man SOG, Andre Ward. Um, and I read an article saying, man, that he's ready for George Cambosos to pick. Who is he going to fight? Who is going to take his O? Because I, I personally believe one of these two guys will take his O. It's just a matter of who does more for your legacy. Um, we got to look at the business aspect of it because it is a business. So which is more beneficial for the promoters, the fighters? Um, and which one do the fans ultimately want to see? You know what I'm saying? So, of course, we got my man, George Cambosos. Um, I believe he's 20 and 0. Just came off the biggest win of his career. And in my opinion, it's probably going to stay being the biggest win of his career versus my man, Teofimo Lopez, at 135. Now, you know, there's a lot of different opinions on this one. You know, Haney or Vasily, the Matrix Lomachenko. Who should George Cambosos pick? You know, we got a, a lot of people saying, you know, well, Lomachenko just lost. He doesn't deserve a shot. Um, it's Haney's turn. Then we got people, you know, Haney hasn't really done too much to prove himself to deserve that fight. I mean, it goes on and on and on and on and on. So, but let's really look at this from um, a promoter standpoint and from your legacy standpoint. See, this is the thing and this is the problem sometimes in boxing. A lot of the times in boxing, we look at somebody's record, and if we see that they don't have an O existing on their record, we kind of throw them out of being great fighters. We say, yeah, well, they lost. Let me tell you something. Just because you're undefeated doesn't make you a super great fighter. Just because you've lost doesn't take away from you being a great fighter. Great fighters lose fights, yo, up and down. If you look at the boxing greats, everyone has lost a fight. Even Floyd Mayweather, I love Floyd. I believe Floyd to be the greatest fighter of all time, everything that he's done in that ring. But I'm going to be real with y'all. He lost that first Castillo fight. There's, there's no arguing, debating. It doesn't matter what the records say. It's the truth. It doesn't take away from Floyd's legacy. It does not take away from it. Great fighters lose fights. Fighters get better off of those tough fights that they sometimes lose. If they're able to adapt to what they did wrong, they get better. You know what I'm saying? They fix them changes. But anyway, we're getting off topic. Who does George Cambosos benefit more from fighting? Is it Devin Haney or is it Vasily Lomachenko? Now, this is the thing. You fight Devin Haney, and I, I believe Devin Haney would beat George Cambosos. I, I, I think that he would. They've both fought, with the exception of Lopez, they've both fought somewhat similar opposition. Um, but then again, I don't know, man. It's a tough one. Business-wise... Lomachenko fight is is the one to go to and this is the thing a win against Devin Haney for George Cambosos if he's able to beat these guys it does good for him he beat Devin Haney okay but Devin Haney doesn't have much of a resume much of a background the kid you know the kid's great but he's barely getting his feet wet fighting the big dogs you know what I'm saying he's he's barely getting his feet wet he's getting in there he's gonna jump in there eventually but he's not quite there yet and you got Lomachenko, who his first professional fight was against Orlando Salido. Orlando Salido must have thrown about 500 low blows in that fight, which Lomachenko ended up losing, but whatever. But this guy fights nothing but great fighters. You know what I'm saying? Which leads me to believe that or conclude Lomachenko does more for Cambosos' legacy than Devin Haney does. And it's not even close. And it's not even close. It's, it's just the truth. Don't be mad at me, y'all. It's the truth. Business-wise, what makes more sense? Again, I'm going to have to go with Lomachenko. We like Devin Haney. We hear about Devin Haney. But, you know, unfortunately, Haney right now is in the category with Tank, Ryan Garcia, all these guys that, that yap a lot, but they, they're not really active against other great fighters. Nor do we really see them out pursuing these great fighters. These fighters need to turn into my man Shannon Brig. Let's go, champ! You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, you need to sometimes. Sometimes you'll land big fights that way. I don't see none of these guys doing that, you know? You got Haney over here calling uh, Gary Russell Jr., you lost to a bum, and it's like, again, dog, you're talking like a big dog in the game. Russell has a better resume than you do. But anyway, so business-wise, Lomachenko all day. It, it, it sells a lot better. Um, again, Lomachenko is known to boxing purists. 
he, he's, he's a well-known fighter because the guy is great. So in my opinion, what I conclude out of this whole video, the best fight to make right now for George Cambosos and for the boxing business is George Cambosos versus Vasily Lomachenko in Australia. That's, that's just the better way to go, y'all. Makes more business sense. It does more for his legacy. And I want to see that fight. It's not that I don't want to see Devin Haney versus George Cambosos. I believe it's going to be a well-fought fight if they, the two do fight. But y'all already know, man, styles make fights. And Lomachenko, yeah, he lost to Teofimo, a close fight, which I think Lomachenko lost on his own because he, he started way too late in that fight. Nonetheless, all credit to Teofimo Lopez. But that's the fight that does it for George Cambosos. Lomachenko, business-wise, legacy. And I think he gives George Cambosos a boxing lesson. But anyway, y'all, let me know what you guys think, man. Walk away from being biased. What do you guys think is the best fight for Cambosos' legacy and business-wise? Let me know what y'all uh, think down below. And let me tell y'all, man, I appreciate the love. Y'all stopping by my channel, subscribing to my channel. So don't stop. I'm going to keep content coming. Hit that like button. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe if you're not already. God bless y'all. Have a great day. Take it easy, y'all. Stay up. Peace.